Hi guys, welcome back to Ghoulie Animation Channel. I guess you saw the difference after I gave you two examples of an arm with sleeves and an arm without sleeves. Certainly, having active sleeves will make your character look more realistic, lively, and realistic. As usual, and what I have done before, I will use smart bones to create action bones. It looks like this. I'll create it quickly. This method is good, but it has limitations. It only allows you to open the sleeves, but does not allow you to move them according to the inertia of your arm when moving. Unless you add more bones. Well, it seems a bit more complicated, which will increase your working time. So how to optimize for greater efficiency? I see, why don't we use position in the control bone panel? This is it. I will create three bones corresponding to two outer sleeve points, upper sleeve layer, and lower sleeve layer. All three bones will connect to the forearm bones. I will bind these two points to the middle bone. The bone on the left is the bone layer under the sleeve. And the bone on the right is the bone layer above the sleeve. Now we connect the bone under the sleeve and the bone between the two points beyond the sleeve to the layer bone above the sleeve. First is the middle bone. As you can see, I chose the upper sleeve bone as the target, which is the X bone. In the coordinates, number one is the X axis and number two is the Y axis. Because layer two, the sleeve point only moves up and down. So I let 100% corresponds to the Y axis while the x-axis is zero, because it does not need to move. For the layer bone under the sleeve, I still choose the upper sleeve bone as the target, which is bone A. In the coordinates, number one is the x-axis, and number two is the y-axis. Because of this point, it moves opposite to the upper layer sleeve. So I set minus 100% on the x-axis, and the y-axis is 100% because it needs to move with the remaining two bones. And it will get this result. You see, the sleeves move flexibly and easily controlled. I have another way, attaching four bones corresponding to four points as I am doing. You will pull your sleeve anywhere you want. This way is the downside is a bit of time to handle the sleeves, but it is better customized. I mean, when you raise your hand high or drop your hands low, the sleeves will be adjusted as you like, hmm? Actually, you can choose many different ways. This video I share more so you can do it. Hope it will help you. Okay. Let's review the process. It's not difficult for you to do. Grasp the principles of movement and try it out. It will be very interesting when you create it. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my support channel. Thanks everyone.